Hater, hey I'm Voltzen from Voltage Productions, and welcome to Skyflat. Usually on the server, when it comes to content, I just make shorts. I've already posted a few. But the project behind me is so big that I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna make a long form video out of it. Screw it. And you know what? I decided that because of the way I worked on this project, I'd have to be a little bit creative with how I went about making a video about it. Because I didn't record in the actual building. I made, I took screenshots, but I didn't actually record any of the building. So, how do I make a video on it then? It's simple. Instead of showing all the building, I'm going to tell you the building process. Where I made design choices, and how we got to where we are now. So, let's get started. Now, the reason why I've built the brand here in the first place is because it is part of a project I'm working on on the Skyflot server that I'm calling New Berlin. As you can see, when I discovered this village, I put down a sign here to mark the founding date. Well, not really the date, but to declare that it was founded by me. Everything here is for New Berlin, and I figured, what would, without something like the Brandenburg Gate, it's not really Berlin or anything like it. It's just a city with the same name. It's fraudulent. So, I decided uh, I would rebuild the Brandenburg Gate. Originally, there was just a thin strip of cobble that led over to a platform over there. In fact, you can still actually tell that that's how I built it. If I fly under here, you'll notice normal cobblestone and slabs. That's because originally it was just a big line that was going out here. And then, this is where I built the bridge itself. It really goes to show when each part of the Brandenburg Gate itself here was built. So yeah, New Berlin, I needed something that, want, that would resemble Berlin, and so I figured, you know what, what's the most iconic part of the city of Berlin? And in almost every bit of German media, you know, featuring Germany, there's the Brandenburg Gate. And I just decided, screw it, I'm gonna go with the Brandenburg Gate. It looks cool anyway. And clearly the people on the Skyflood server think so as well. I remember all this cobblestone here, or at least some of the early cobblestone used for this project, was from a manual cobble farm back in my own base. I'll show you it right here. The way I got all of my early cobblestone was flying over to my castle here. Here in my industry room, I have this makeshift cobble generator, which most of the time, if I needed a couple, I would go over here and just AFK until the pickaxe broke. It still works, but it's not very efficient. However, the way I get it now is I just fly over at user Sean Bot's uh, call farm over here. And I just load up a shulker of two of cobble from his chest here. Yeah, see there's cobble here. He should really run a farm again. Shame on you, Sean, for not running it more. But yeah, that's how I got all, all my cobble afterward. I'm going to show you how I first decided on using sandstone for it. For something like the Brandenburg, Brandenburg Gate, most people would use something like quartz. It's a very classic traditional white block used in Minecraft very often. Most people would have used this. In fact, in the picture I used here, you could see a brick texture. So people who would use quartz would most likely end up going with a pattern like this. And then for, and for flare, they'd use like stairs or something. You know, that's how most people would do it. However, for me, no, 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 no. The reason why I decided not to do it is because I hate gathering quartz. It's hard to get a lot of it, and the best way to get a lot of it is void trading. But we don't have a void trading system on flat, on the, sorry, sky, on sky flat, because we don't really have a lot of end gateways. We only have three. I decided to find a new solution. In the end, I decided to use mostly cut sandstone as a base block. The reason why I decided to use sandstone was because we have a sand duper. For flare, I decided to use stairs. Another perk to use sandstone is that it comes with a wall variant, to which quartz does not, which meant for more flare options, and making it look better. As you can see in the, in the screenshot here, the walls here for the Rainbow Gate used to be very flat, and I noticed this, so I decided to add some more detail. For these three block wide ones, for detail that I decided on was, would be simple. In the middle, there be stairs going up. We have some uh, walls on the side. And I'll repeat that on the, all the other sides. There's also some writing as you can see here on the Brandenburg Gate. So what I originally had in mind was actually not what I ended up do going with. Now for writing here, I originally intended on using chiseled sandstone. Because, uh, oh, there's a design on it. It'll be, it'll, you can uh, tell what it is from afar. I'm looking at it from afar here and you can hardly tell. And putting it back when I hope at all. So I need a new solution. And what I decided on was stripped oak. 
you can tell what it is at a distance, and it certainly gives off the same effect. There's also there's flare design on the walls there, to which it was pretty it's pretty easy to design. I ended up just going with basically this design. For those horses, I would have loved to use waxed weathered copper. Because I think it generally would look the best and would look the most accurate. However, we do not have a good copper farm on the server yet. For Superfly Worlds, the best copper farm design is this one. And uh, we don't have that yet. It probably won't be too hard to set up. But we have not set it up yet. So until we get that going, we don't have a good source of copper. As such, I'd find a new solution. And in the end, I went with warp wood. It still has a somewhat similar color. And you know what? It's easy to get a lot of. Because, well, we have never access, and I have an electric flying around with. So, it's easy to get a lot of warp wood. And once I made it really good with that for the design up top, I only needed a stack of stems. Let's go turn to four stacks of planks. Most perfect amount. This is the sand duper we use. The roof went missing sometime, but whatever, that's fine. And yeah, we everyone uses this farm occasionally. I used it to get concrete powder some time ago. And I think someone was using it recently, I believe Sean was using it. I usually would just go down here and... I think there's probably sand around here. You gotta see, there's already some sand in here. I believe I remarked earlier how using that stupor actually... I Since I had activated the chunk loader there, I actually made, uh, made server crash. <laughs> so that's my bad. I should probably also add that none of this was made of light matica. Even though I showed you the designing process in, the, in that creative world, None of it was actually built beforehand in their world. All this was built free-handed. Everything you see, all that's free-handed. Including these horses. I watched a tutorial for those. Would Lightmatica make it easier? Probably. Do I care? Not really. So, even though there's like four or five, I just made three because there's not that much room up here. That's kind of my fault, but this was really the best design that resembled a horse. And you know what, from the ground level at the very least, it looks good enough, so I'm not complaining. Now, the main thing that I wanted to work on first for New Berlin was this structure. And I'm glad it's finished, which means I can finish on the other parts of the city. But yeah, it was still... I actually kind of procrastinated finishing these side buildings, because these were the last thing I had to finish. But you know what, I'm glad I finished them. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to show you guys. This must be more of a quick video. So... I'm Volta for Voltage Productions. Goodbye.